know you guys found it because I was walking around and talked to you guys about it. So. It's like, <clears throat> Okay, well, let's maybe give an example. When you talk about the different things, give an example of where it was in the poem. Um, Point us to a line, maybe. It doesn't really, like, none of the lines, like, rise until, like, the last one, when it says B and C. Okay. So that was the only true run in the poem. Anything else that we found? Maybe the theme of the poem or the style? Death. 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 Yeah. And how was it represented? What type of figurative language was used to represent death in the poem? Torture. Um, the flies symbolize people around you when you die. <laughs> 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 so the fly, the fly was used as a metaphor for death in the poem, but I mean maybe that's why she would use the fly because flies are around a lot during death. That could be. Was there anything else that you saw as far as style? Did you find anything? Okay, we'll get to the first one first. Well, Cooper was the one that did the most. I like red. You got that. I didn't have any help. <laughs> did you? Well, what, what kind of things did you find? Anything else that you worth noting that you found? Maybe you could even talk about what you related it to. Kind of reminds me of like when you're dying in the hospital and you like put your eyes down, like when you're about to die, that's like when the fly blows its When the fly blows its head. Yeah. Well, did you guys relate it to any other works that you've talked about maybe this year or hey. a different oh, right there. Edgar Allan Poe. Alone? Edgar Allan Poe is Alan Alan. a good one. Yeah. Because he has similar, similar themes throughout, but is he. You related it. You related it to him, but how is he maybe different than the way that Emily Dickinson portrays death? She's quite dark. He's quite dark. Like you said that in the in the tragedy, like Edgar talks about more like morbid death, and then Emily talks about more peaceful death. Like she's more content with it. And he was more like absurd, like violent. Yeah, the absurdity in Edgar Allan Poe. It's a good one. Was there? Um, I guess we'll have somebody do their retell if this group maybe wanted to. Okay. Well, we kind of thought it was someone surrounded by loved ones dying peacefully. But not sure. Did anybody else have their like quick summary? any other thoughts that they wanted to add? Maybe their respond? Just to um, get... Poem was great. <laughs> <laughs> but, but why? Yeah, why? <laughs> 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 Is anybody related to anything other than Edgar Allan Poe? Because even it could be the, the style of her poetry or the rhyme scheme. Or well, can you like, think of anything else, even if you didn't come up with it in your group? Yeah, go ahead. We liked how the dashes were used. <laughs> but do you see that in anybody other's poem? Is there anything that you can relate it to? Uh, really. Maybe her rhyme scheme. We talked um, about how it had <laughs> iambic pentameter. Can you think of anything, anybody else that uses iambic pentameter? Shakespeare. That's a good one. There we go. Does Dr. Seuss use that? Hopefully from doctors. I actually I've never analyzed Dr. Seuss, so maybe find out. You can relate it next time. Okay. Where'd I go? Well, that's all I had. And we're kind of running out of time, but thank you.